Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I know that I sure am. And today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some really awesome Rainbow Six Siege hiding spots. So if you do enjoy, remember to leave a like down below. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first spot I'm going to be showing you guys today is going to be on the map border. And for this, all you're going to need is a deployable shield. Doesn't matter what speed operator you are, all you're going to need is that shield. So what you're going to want to do is place it in the spot you see me place mine, hop up on this kind of L-shaped couch, and then actually go and run onto the shield. And instead of actually looking on the vending machine for the vault sign, you're just going to want to look down at the floor. Eventually you're going to see a vault sign and you're going to be able to press that and be able to get on top of this vending machine. Now something I do want to point out is I did slide off a couple of times when trying this before, so what you're going to want to do to make sure that you stay up there is sprint towards the wall in the initial vault. After that, you should be good to just walk around up there, place ADSs down, whatever you want to do up in that spot, whether it's camping to get some good kills, or just going to place an ADS up there and getting down just to help out the team. So the next spot that I'm going to be showing you guys is in the tea room on Skyscraper. So pretty much for this one, all you're going to need again is a deployable shield. You're going to want to go and place it in the area you see me place mine. The way that I do is I look to make sure the shield is almost halfway on the carpet and halfway on the actual wood. You're then going to want to go and hop up on this tea kettle table, run across, and then you're going to notice that you get stopped while on the shield. That is because there is a beam above your head, so what you're going to want to do is go and crouch, and then actually just look at the floor again, the same as we did with the vending machine. By doing this, eventually you'll find a vault sign, and using that vault sign is going to allow you to get on top of this actual cabinet. This spot is also really good if there's a fuse on the other team and you're playing as Yeager, because if you place the ADSs up there, I guarantee nobody on the other team is going to be looking above that cabinet for any ADSs to take out the fuse charges. So the next spot I have for you guys is going to be taking place on the map yacht. It's going to be down in the bedroom area and it's going to actually allow you to get up on top of the top bunk. So pretty much this, all you're going to want to do is go down in this basement area, place your shield down where you see me place mine, get on top of the couch, run across the shield, and press vault when you see the vault sign on the bunk beds. It's really that simple guys and once you are up on the top bunk, you can place ADSs down, pretty much do whatever you want up there. I recommend making a kill hole in this wall that's right next to the bunk bed because you can actually see into the kind of doctor's room. I don't know exactly what it's called because I don't have the compass on in game, but pretty much you can make a really good kill hole into this room so when people are coming through there, you can get them before they're even able to see you. Another great feature about this spot is it's kind of two spots in one, because if you fall down onto the suitcase and wiggle yourself around a little bit, you'll eventually be able to go into the bottom bunk. Now this spot comes in really handy, especially if you've already gotten a couple of kills up in the top one and you want to switch it up a little bit so people don't catch on to what you're doing. It's a really good way to keep getting those kills, but to change it up a little bit so people aren't always looking at the top bunk. So originally that was going to be the end of this video guys, but my friends over the Dinglebears YouTube channel came in clutch and have one more spot to show you guys, it's definitely going to outbeat all the ones I've shown you in this video, so I'm happy for those of you who did stick around to see this, and I'll hope to see you guys in the next one. What is happening guys, it's Chris here from the Dinglebears bringing you a brand new hiding spot on the map plane. This one is in the staff section area of the map and it's absolutely incredible, all you need is one person with a shield, preferably someone with a shotgun or a contact grenade and you can get up into the overhead luggage and it's just one hell of a spot I cannot wait for you to see this and also guys just want to give a big shout out to Bedlam thank you so much for having us on here Alan's going to take us from here and I'll talk to you at the end peace right so guys so this spot is actually really easy to do if you communicate with your teammate properly all you have to do is get one of your teammates to impact grenade the wall across from the luggage hole itself And then placing the shield will be the only difficult part of this. Basically, you need to place the shield a small bit out from the wall and then get your teammate to jump up on top of the shield. Now, once you're on top of the shield, you're going to have to communicate with your teammate to let them know that you are in the right prone position. And from there, you need to slowly boost up on top of your friend's head and jump inside the luggage hole. It's actually quite easy to do with some repetitiveness on it and you can learn from it much quicker with some practice. But I tell you what, you'll be able to surprise your enemy up in that baggage compartment. So that's it from me, guys. Back to Chris. <laughs> it's too much pressure. It's too much pressure.
<laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Great stuff, Alan. Great stuff, Bellum. Thank you so much for having us on here. Really appreciate it. Uh, for all you guys who want to see more spots like this, make sure to drop by our channel. The link should be in the description if Bellum doesn't screw us over. And, we'll do <laughs> and uh, we'll be doing the same for him. So please keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much. It's been Chris and Ellen from the Dangleberries. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like in this video. Bellum's an absolute beast. And I'll catch you later. Peace out.